I'm Presley from Bite Size Studio, and March 8th is International Women's Day, so I wanted to talk a little bit about Margaret Hamilton, who is one of my favorite female role models. She wrote a lot of the code on the Apollo mission, which sent man to the moon. There's actually a picture of her online that is her next to a stack of books that's almost as tall as she is, and they're filled with code. That's a lot of code. She's actually still alive today, and maybe I'll get a chance to meet her. There's also a really cool foundation called the Gina Davis Foundation, and their slogan is, if she can see it, she can be it, which I think ties into Margaret really well. Little girls see women like Margaret, and they realize that they can work in STEM too. There are also some really great women on YouTube today that are amazing role models. Some of my favorites are Emily from The Brain Scoop, Diana from The Physics Girl, and Sabrina, the host of Crash Course Kids. Of course, they wouldn't be here doing the amazing science that they do without the women before them. People like Margaret Hamilton paved the way for them to do amazing things. When a computer was a job where you did math, it was considered more of a secretarial job, so it was actually kind of easy to get in as a woman. Once they had that job, that opened the path for women to start coding. Margaret happened to be one of those women, and I am very grateful for it. During the Apollo mission's landing, the system realized that it was doing too many things at once. So it stopped doing minor things and focused on landing. And guess who wrote that code? Margaret Hamilton. If it weren't for her, the crew of the Apollo landing would have died. Fun time. But unfortunately, she didn't get much recognition for what she did for quite a while. She didn't receive an award until 11 years later. That award was the Ada Lovelace Award, which is dedicated entirely to women in STEM. By the way, I also did a video about Ada Lovelace. Um, there'll be a link in the description. You should totally check it out because Ada Lovelace is also really cool. And she is the true mother of coding. Then, 28 years after the mission, she finally got a NASA award. And then, 41 years later, in 2016, she got the Presidential Medal of Honor, which is the highest award a U.S. citizen can receive. I encourage all of you to go out and learn more about her and other women for Women's History Month. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!